I'm going to start off with a uh, poem about childhood and childhood's discontents. And it's in the voice of a little boy. Lullaby. It's bedtime and the house is dark. I think of Mr. Ford at school who never looks me in the eye. He barks my last name with his back, then drops me like he drops a pencil in his drawer. I know he's here, somewhere in my room. He must have followed me along the shortcut through the woods. He's in that closet, underneath the bed. He rolls on top of me as I try to sleep. His breath is hot and sticks. But on my wall, where a street light makes a square, I see an elephant who's eyeing me, and I can hear old angel panting on the floor. <laughs> I know they'll both be there, there, until I fall asleep and Mr. Ford goes home. <laughs> This is more grown up now. This is a in persona of a man listening to jazz and what he imagines. Sax, torrid sax. Keep playing that tune. Funny Valentine, la la. With your sweet whiny sound. That's it. Make it sing. Funny how boozed up I feel and sultry, just listening, imagining dark, damp, steamy streets, neon lights that blink delight in my no-no part of town, a dark, louche bar where I wait well-oiled with boilermakers ogling the girls, and a room upstairs, me in a bed with disreputable sheets where a she barges in, one of those girls, to disrobe slowly. <laughs> Put her foot on a chair, and got her one stocking, just a hint of thigh. Oh, sax, my sax, come again with that song. Make the heat keep rising, sweet, sweeter. How sweet can it get? For close, closer, now she glitters toward me. Bra dropped, her thong dropped. Yeah. And, oh God, you must love me. <laughs> <laughs> she is unbuckling my belt. <laughs> Thank you very much.